for our liquid lab video with Stephanie. Stephanie, what do you have for us today? All right, so today we are going to continue on with our theme of nucleation. We're going to do a couple more nucleation experiments, um, kind of along the same lines as our soda and Mentos experiment that we tried yesterday. So if you watched that one yesterday, which if you missed it, no worries, just go back through our timeline, you can watch it again. Um, or watch it for the first time. So if you watched yesterday, you remember that the Mentos in the experiment was the thing, was the, the part of the experiment that had lots of nucleation sites. Um, so nucleation, basic definition of that word is just two things coming together or one thing gathering around um, one site or one spot. So in the case of the soda and the Mentos experiment, like I said, it was the Mentos that was covered in those nucleation sites. Um, Mentos happened to have a lot of nucleation sites, which is perfect uh, for the carbon dioxide in the soda. It latches onto those nucleation sites, the bubbles get bigger and bigger and bigger, and the carbon dioxide is released. It's pushed out of the container, pushed out of the soda, and sometimes brings along a lot of the liquid with it. Um, so you can basically try this experiment at home, not just the soda and the Mentos, but the concept of putting anything into a soda and seeing what happens. If you put something into a bottle of soda and you don't get a really big reaction, that means that that thing that you added to the soda doesn't have a whole lot of nucleation sites. But if you do add something to the soda and you do get a lot of a bubbling reaction, then that thing probably does have a lot of nucleation sites. Um, so pretty much everything on this earth has nucleation sites, not just Mentos. Um, you know, our skin, our fingertips, rocks, candy, um, lots and lots of things. So we're going to put this to the test. We've gathered a couple of items, um, some of which you might be able to find in your own home. We're going to test some raisins. We're going to test some salt some sprinkles, and some sugar. Now, we're not gonna be using a Dr. Pepper or Dr. Dr. Pepper bottles today, because we really don't like wasting Dr. <laughs> Pepper. Um, so instead, we are just gonna be using some, um, just water with carbon dioxide in it. Uh, this came straight from our soda fountain, which is right out here. So it's just bubbly water, no sugar, no flavors, none of that stuff. Um, so we do have a control bottle right here where we're not going to add anything at all. We're just going to watch what happens and see how quickly the carbon dioxide escapes from the bottle, escapes from the liquid, and goes into the balloon. So as you can see, we haven't added anything. Not a whole lot of stuff is happening. The balloon isn't really inflating or filling up with anything. If we left this here for, I don't know, an hour, two hours, three hours, and we came back, the balloon would probably inflate a little bit more just because the carbon dioxide is leaving, but when you open a bottle of soda, that process is really slow um, and happens very hmm. gradually. Um, all right, so which one do we want to do next? Ooh, I'm interested in the raisins. Rachel said she the was raisins. interested. Okay, so we're going to try this out <laughs> with some raisins, and we've got the balloons. I forgot to mention that. We've got the balloons to kind of catch um, anything that's pushed out of the soda, pushed out of the bottle, the carbon dioxide. So I've got three raisins right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my bottle. I'm gonna try to put my raisins in my balloon and then dump my raisins into the bottle. Do you think we could use cranberries if we had cranberries? Like, is it dried fruit or do you think it's grapes? It's like wrinkly fruit. Wrinkly fruit. Wrinkly fruit has big nucleation sites. <laughs> yeah, and you know what's interesting? Oh, this is right. Oh, so. They will uh, <laughs> look up jumpy raisins. They'll get their bubbles on their nucleation sites, blow up to the top. Then when the bubbles pop, they go back down. So oh. they have dancing around. Yeah, and you know what's interesting is the Mentos, when you feel a Mentos, it feels really soft and really smooth, mm -hmm. whereas the raisins obviously feel really bumpy. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, kind of compare the raisin mm -hmm. reaction versus the Mentos reaction. So I'm going to go ahead and dump a couple raisins. of raisins Oh, look, there's there. bubbles. Yeah, we've got a little bit of bubbles coming up, but our balloon isn't mm -hmm. inflating a whole lot. Boo. <laughs> Bumpy, but maybe not quite as many nucleation sites as Mentos have. All right, what are we going to try next? I don't know, Rachel, what do you want? What do you want to try next? Uh, sprinkles. Sprinkles. All right, let's go for it. So we've got some sprinkles. These are, they look very Christmassy. Yeah, everybody's like, got leftover good. sprinkles. Yeah, leftover so sprinkles. many leftover sprinkles. Look, everybody's got that in their pantry, yeah. and they're not saving that. <laughs> 
Um, and these are circular sprinkles. They're not like the fancy star shaped or Ooh, maybe those like be unicorns. Better. Yeah, if you have them. Um, unicorns. That'd be interesting to see. Yeah, someone test that out and get back to us. Novelty shaped sprinkles. I'd be interested to see what happens. Need a sprinkle specific (laughs) nucleation. And those cute little curly ones that are really smooth. I wonder if they have really scratchy nucleation sites. All right, so we've got a generous amount of sprinkles in our balloon. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Attach the balloon to the bottle and then dump the sprinkles in there and watch what happens. Okay, so we've got oh. a little bit of a reaction, wow. yeah. Whoa. And the balloon is actually inflating a little bit. A lot of that oh. liquid is being pushed up into the balloon. It's, it is turning the, the soda water kind of a green color. Um, so that's yeah. pretty Oh, cool. I wouldn't want to drink that. <laughs> it would be, I mean, this is soda, right? It's sugar, sugar water. Sugar water with sprinkles. Sugar water with bubbles. There you go. Yeah, that balloon definitely looks different than our sad little yeah. ones over here. <laughs> and Rebecca Hill is watching and says we were having a Dr. Pepper treat while they watch our liquid lab today. Blueberry must not have as many nucleation sites as a strawberry slice. I could see that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You think a blue? Wait, strawberry has more? I would think so. Yeah. That's I would think so. Yeah, All right, so I would think so. What are we going to try next? The salt or the sugar? Mm, these are good ones. Uh, let's try salt. 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 This All is right. not a soda I would want to drink. Salt. salt. Soda. <laughs> One time I had a camp counselor drink. One time I had a camp counselor drink. Drink the Dr. Pepper after my science experiment. And I was like, oh, this is so Yikes. Probably if it had been, it probably looked like the sugar one. Yeah, that's a good note. Um, this don't is fun, it, fun science, but don't drink this <laughs> after. Unless you're just feeling adventurous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a taste test that I don't want to be asked to help with. Um, okay. All right, so we're going to attach our balloon filled with salt to our bottle, dump the salt in, and watch what happens. Oh, oh man, we got a lot of bubbly action there. The balloon inflated a heck of a lot quicker than the sprinkles did, um, and it's still going, it's oh, still gosh. bubbling. So it looks like salt has quite a bit of nucleation sites. Very good. All right, and then last but not least, we're going to try out our sugar. So I'm going to pour, once again, a generous amount of sugar into our balloon. There we go. All right, what do y'all think, Gracie and Rachel, predictions? What's going to happen with the sugar? <laughs> I always think of sugar as like maybe it'll get when it gets wet it gets sticky like maybe it'll lose. I feel it like it won't be as fun inside. as the salt, but, but the I don't sprinkles know. have their salt. I know the sprinkles did really well. Mm-hmm. I would right. say less than the salt, more than the sprinkles, definitely more than the raisin. I agree with that. <laughs> with that right, guess. Let's put it to the test. Dumping the salt in now. Oh, I mean oh. it looks pretty similar to the salt reaction. Wow. Is it as much, you think? I can't, oh, it's still going. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, look at that. Well, Actually, the sprinkles are more. I know, the sprinkles, so here's our sprinkles, and then this one is our salt over here. All right, so which one looks like it had the most nucleation sites? I, I'm gonna say. It's tied between the salt and the sprinkles. I know, Maybe which is surprising. So I, it looks like salt, sprinkles, sugar, those are kind of the big ones for nucleation. Raisin. Boo. Boo. Sorry. And then, of course, our control, since we didn't add anything to it, not a whole lot of carbon dioxide being pushed out there quite yet. Um, all right, so that's all we've got for today's Liquid Lab segment. Be sure to tune in tomorrow, where we are going to be shaking up a can of soda and then opening it, for better or worse. <laughs> all right, see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.